Hi everyone, it's Ruby. I'm Rayleigh. And welcome back to our channel. Today in this video, we're doing a twin telepathy painting art clothes challenge. This challenge is a three color painting challenge, but we are going to be painting on clothes instead, which we've never done before. Yeah. Before we get started, we do have a couple of important things to say. One, thank you so much to everyone who entered our giveaway. We got so many nice comments. Thank you so much to everyone who entered it. We're blown away with how many of you guys entered. Obviously, we can't pick everyone, although it'd be good if we could, but we are picking the winners at random. So thank you again. If you haven't entered already, check out our last video for details. Secondly, we just want to make sure you're all staying safe and staying home as much as you can and practicing social distancing. These are such extreme times for us, but what we can all do is follow the government's advice and stay at home. We're going to be continuing to make our videos like we normally would and hopefully they actually give you ideas of things to do because a lot of the things that we're doing in these videos are things that we're doing at home to keep ourselves entertained. And then you guys can at least keep busy and entertain yourself by doing things creative. On that note, on with the DIYs. How this challenge works is there's seven different rounds and for each round we get a range of art supplies. We have to try and pick the same items. If we do, we get a point. If we don't, we get no points. At the end, we'll lift the barrier up that will have been separating each other so we don't see it and then we'll see how we both did. <laughs> and that's mm -hmm. the best part. Okay, so let's get started and put the board up. Three, two, one. Okay, so we can't see each other now and we're ready for round one. But let's close our eyes and see what it is. Three, two, one. <gasps> oh, okay. there's two different choices. So we have two different types of sweatshirt and we have this one which is a lot thicker and it's fluffy on the inside. I don't know what to pick. And then we have this one which is stretchier. I prefer to wear this one and paint this one. I feel like Ruby... I feel like she could go two ways about it, but I think she might pick this one to paint for a reason I can't actually say. I'm picking this one because one, it is, and two, a reason I cannot say either, so. So I'm choosing this. And I'm choosing this. Now on to round two. Let's close our eyes. Three, two, one. <gasps> Ooh, <laughs> these are cute colours. They are cute. And these are obviously new paints, which is fun. Oh, yeah. So we've got a very bright looking kind of coral colour, mm -hmm. a darker blue and a more greeny blue. This is also hard because we don't actually know what we're painting. So we could like, we could get given something to paint, but we could also have to go off whatever colours we pick. So I feel like yeah. it's just safest now to just pick the colours we like. So I think that I'm gonna pick this one because one, it's a really cute colour. Two, I think it will work well with literally anything. And three, it's probably like, it's kind of a good guess. So I hope really, if really guesses, then I hope she picks this one. I think really likes this colour, so. Okay, right. I feel like this might be the safest one. Because you can mix it with a lot of things. This might be harder to do and this might also be hard. So I'm just going to go this one. I think you're on about with this one. So I'm going to go for this one because you said like it's the easiest one and this is what I think you mean. Safe option, even though I want this one. So if she got this one. So I'm picking this one. And I'm picking this one. On to round three. Let's shut our eyes. Three, two, one. Ooh, some of these colour combinations are really cute. Okay, so we have a purple, we have a dark green, and this kind of reminds me of the days where we used to do slime. This is, you thought this colour was pastel. Then we have a white. I feel like Ruby is really likely to pick this one as well, for the same reasons I would, but I don't think I can say them out loud. I think I'm going to pick this one because we both like this colour and I think it will be good doing something I can't say. I think you're talking about this one. So I'm gonna pick this one. And I'm gonna pick this one. On to round three, and this is our third and final colour. Three, two, one. <gasps> I love all of these colours. We have a burgundy, we have a yellow, and we have a red. I feel like this combination for me would be so cute. Actually, maybe this one. Actually, maybe all of them. But I like this one. This is very, um, 
I think I'm gonna choose this color one because I know I don't think this mm -mm. and this is what's left I have two colors left I think it could be and I know Rumi definitely prefers this color so I'm picking this one and I'm picking this one three two one <gasps> Oh, Posca pens. So we have a gold Posca marker and a white Posca like pen and a black Posca pen. And I know what I immediately want, but I want to think about what Bailey's going to pick because I think she definitely is not going to pick this because I just know, I know and I can't say why. So I'm pretty sure Ruby knows me well enough to know I'm not going to go for this one. So we're between these two. I, I can't say it out loud because it will give it away, but if you kind of look. So I think the best option would be this one between like all of the colors because I don't think we're going to pick this one. There's other reasons which I can't say so I'm just going to pick this one. There are other reasons why I'm going to pick this one that I can't say as well. And I'm going to go for this one. Our mum said there are two more rounds and we're not just sure what they can be now. Maybe paint brushes. Three, two, one. <gasps> Ooh, they're turned over. Do you think this is going to be a technique or a design or an or like a painting? We might actually have to do a painting, in which case the colours we've picked is going to be hard. Matisse. Okay, so it's an artist. So we have Matisse. Van Gogh. Yeah. And Monet. I only know who Van Gogh is. I don't know the rest. So Monet is a French Impressionist painter. Okay. Van Gogh is a Dutch painter, as you already know. Yeah, He's I famous know for like Starry Night and the sunflowers. Yeah, in, in school I did the sunflowers, I think. Mm -hmm. And Matisse is a French artist and he's known for really colourful like paintings. I'm going to go for this one. I feel like Ruby's most likely to pick this one and I know a lot of his paintings and I'm quite familiar with them and some of the colours that I've picked will go with his paintings. I'm going to go for this one. And I'm going to go for this one. Now we're going on to the final round. And the only thing I can think of is brushes or masking tape. Maybe like a masking tape. I think this might be like the technique you're going to use. Three, two, one. Ooh. You're right. So we have paint brushes and masking tape. I think this is electrical tape and sponges. Or Q-tips and electrical electrical tape. So I already know what I want to pick because of the style I've picked it and the artist. Same. For the artist I've picked, I really kind of have to go for either this one or this one. Okay, so I'm picking this one. I feel like for my artist and the painting that I've got in mind, this will make the most sense. So I'm going for this one. And I'm going for this one. Okay, so we've got all of our things now. We've got our artists, we've got our jumpers, and we've got all of our paints and colours. And we've also got these boards because they make it so much easier to paint on. So now we're going to get started, and I'm going to start with my masking tape. Same, so we've got to like do the area we're going to use. Yeah. So let's do that first. Are you putting your jumper on the block? Yeah. Oh, I am now. Are you done yet? No. This is the quickest bit. So we've both put our jumpers on these wooden drawing boards now. And if you are going to do this at home, then we would recommend doing that because it makes it so much easier to paint. Now we're going to put the masking tape on. Let's do it. the bits that we're going to be painting and mm -hmm. I have done a and I boarded off a and we have our phones now and we're going to search up from the painter we have what things we're going to be drawing and painting ooh these are cute I believe I've already found well I found the one I want to do so I'm going to do this and I'm gonna do this one. 
This is going to be really hard, but I'm not going to do the whole picture because it's not going to fill up the whole page. Yeah, me neither. Like, I'm going to do like the basic things in it and I have a good idea with my Posca pen. Mm -hmm. And to start mine off, I need to do the whole thing one colour. So. I don't know if I should do that. It's like, mine isn't like that. For me, it just, it makes it easier. Oh, okay. I've got a base colour. So let's start out with, let's just start painting. Our mum said we can mix colours together for this. Mm, yes, we Which can. is good. Because <laughs> there are a lot of them in mine. Use your pen first. Yeah, it's just a bit of mixing. Okay. We're layering it up quite a lot. Because the paint base is easier to paint on than the base of the jumper. I mixed loads of the Posca pen in now and I'm ready to start. I'm now on my second colour. What about you? I'm like mixing the colours, so like maybe that's why I'm, I'm like taking longer than you. Does the pen mix with the paint? Yeah, it works. I might have to do that. Oh, okay. You're a lot further ahead than me. So I finished my first colour. What about you, really? I'm about to go into my third. Okay. I'm enjoying it. Mm -hmm. So I'm still on my second colour, but I'm just realising that these bits here, which I can't say, they would be better doing this colour first that I'm doing right now and then putting the other colour on it because it makes them more brighter. This painting that I'm doing definitely needs building up. <laughs> I had to do a lot of blending, but I'm going to move on to the third colour now. Nice. So we've done a lot of our painting now and we do need a bit more but I need the Posca pen for my next bit and it needs to dry for that. Okay so we're going to let these dry overnight and then we're going to add the Posca pen and do a bit more painting tomorrow. So we'll see you guys tomorrow. So it's the next day now and our paintings have dried and now we just have to do the finishing touches before the reveal and I have to do my Posca pen. And I have to do a bit more layering and also we did all get messages this morning saying that the UK is on lockdown. So please stay at home guys to keep everyone and yourself safe. So we both had these paint trays on top of our designs so we couldn't see them in the night. And we're going to do our finishing bits now. I'm going to do my Posca pen. I'm going to do more painting. So let's do it. <laughs> and we will be back to you with the finished product. Okay, so we both finished with our pens and our paint now. And now we only have the last and the most satisfying bit to do. We're going to be taking off the tape and then seeing how it turned out. Let's do it. I'm going to take mine off first and I'm so excited. I hope it works. So we just took the tape off and I don't know about yours, but mine is looking so good. It was so satisfying. I'm so proud of mine. And we will be heat setting these. You do that with baking paper and an iron on top of the paint. But there are loads of ways to set acrylic paint and you can look that up online. Okay, so we're gonna reveal these to each other and all of you at the same time. Okay, right. We got the same jumper! Hello. Okay, that's Wait, important. was the truth left? Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. one, right? We're gonna do rock, paper, scissors to see if you choose theirs first. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Me. Okay. okay. Three, two, one. 
Haven't seen it. Oh my Fango. Yeah, I'm not gonna tell you, but that's a that's nice. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh my gosh. That is so cool. Oh, thank you're you. so good at it. I did like a swirlier version, and in case you're wondering where the pen is, I mixed that with some of the blue to create a darker blue. I'm very proud of it. I want to see yours now. What colour did you get though? Blue, white, yellow, and a black pen. So this is mine, but I'll show you properly in a minute. I want to see yours. Okay. Two, one. <gasps> Whoa. So if you're wondering where the black pen is, I got the black pot pen and I did the river bit and I did a bit of like the... Oh my see, goodness, that's... Just saying we got the exact same colors and the same jumper. Yeah. <laughs> Mine's Starry Night over the Rhone or the river. And mine's just Starry Night and I did part of the image. So basically we did everything the same. We got it all right for like the so first video in ages. different though. Yours is so good. So this is the original painting and this is what I did. And I did it a bit different. I made it a bit more flowy, if you know what I mean. It is so good. I love it. I love how different they are, but like, thank you. I just love the colours of yours, I guess. So this is the original painting and this is my one. Mine's easy to mess up and never get it wrong. It's because you just mix things, to be honest, and it's all like together, I guess. It looks so good. And I'm really proud of myself. Out of 10, I'd rate mine a 10. I'm very proud of how I did. She's genuinely proud of me, and I can tell by her face, and I'm really happy about yeah. that. I'd rate yours a 10. It's so good, and I honestly think I prefer yours to mine. These are so fun to do, and they definitely preoccupied us for two days. I'm so proud of how this looks, and I'm definitely gonna do a lot of these. Same, I'm really excited to make more, and maybe not just artists, just like random like drawings. Yeah, because I have so many plain t-shirts. Can you make me one of these ones, please? Yes, I can. Can you make me one of those, please? Yes. So that's the end of our video. We're really happy of how these turned out. Make sure you head over to the community page and comment who you prefer, Rubies or Rayleigh's. We have two shout outs for this video. Shout out number one goes to Emma Lou. Thank you so much for your nice comments and for commenting a lot on our videos. It means a lot to have your support. Second shout out goes to Anna K. Thank you so much for subscribing to us, hashtagging our sister squad and being really positive on the community page comments. We can't end this video without thanking our early squad and notification squad. We love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching our video. We really hope you enjoyed. Remember, stay at home, stay safe. We love you. Bye. Bye. So I'm... Oops. Okay, so we're gonna let these dry off to... Art. <laughs> Wait, so is she the woman who wears the Victorian clothes and has that like, massive hair? Who? <laughs> Mona Lisa. That's not my cough. <laughs> who is it? Leonardo da Vinci.